What is this, Damien? Did you just put another Xbox charge on my credit oh, card? Oh, shit. You need a career, like becoming a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer. Guy on the roof. Broke a shield? He does not give a single shit. All right, how's it going, people? It's your favorite Mexican Ranko here. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. Today, we're checking in with Darman. Let's go. Give me those life lessons. The Darman classic we're watching today is called Mom Throws Out Her Son's Xbox. She instantly regrets the decision. Oh, shit. What's a Darman title without instantly regrets it? For those who don't know, Darman's known for making these unrealistic scripted videos that people are supposed to digest as life lesson videos. The ones we've seen from him in the past are barely applicable to real life. They're not not realistic life lesson videos, but maybe Darman can turn it around. Maybe this one's realistic. But yeah, without further ado, let's soak in these life lessons, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's playing COD. That's already realistic. Oh shit. Damien, will you pick up your controller? This is the second time I've stepped on it. Damien. Sorry, mom. Not okay. What are you doing playing video games on a Monday? You should be out looking for a job. We have bills to pay, you know? But this is a job. I can make a lot of money as a gamer. Yeah, mom, I don't know if you knew, but I'm an esports gamer. F off. I've, I've got a tournament tonight. If I win that, I'll get paid a lot. Playing video games isn't a real job. Oh shit, mom's coming in with the heat. Hey, guess what, ma? Yes, it is. You should be letting our friend here play 24 hours of video games a day. You need a career, like becoming a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer. Guy on the roof, broke a shield? He does not give a single shit. Downed him. Ooh. I swear, I'm gonna break that game. Honey, it's okay. If that's what he wants to do, then we should support his dreams. Yeah, let's just be real here for a second. If this guy's just a bum living in his parents' home who's only spending his time on video games, I mean, he should probably get a job, at least until the esports career pops off. Maybe don't just stay at the crib playing video games 24-7. At least get, like, a part-time job or something. So far, W script, W mom, W darman. Right? Dreams don't pay the bills, Ron. Oh shit, Damien's out here using his mom's credit card for Xbox purchases. Probably the most relatable part of this episode yet. What is this, Damien? Did you just put another Xbox charge on my credit card? I'm so sorry, Mom, but it's for the tournament tonight. I promise I'll pay you back. Pay me back with what? You don't even have a job. Mom is absolutely cooking with this one. Bro needs to get off the couch and get a job. I'm not saying he should give up on the eSports dreams, be a gamer, whatever, but uh, get a job while you're at it. We're already $10,000 in credit card debt. We can't afford for you to put your stupid games on my credit card. Damn. So this family's broke too, and this kid is just playing video games on the couch, not getting a job or anything? Bro, mom needs to like force him off the couch or something to get him to start filling out those job applications, eh? Honey, it's okay. We'll figure it out. No. Enough is enough. Oh boy. I'm not doing this anymore. Oh. Ooh. I was in the middle of a game. Well, you're about to be in the middle of filling out job applications on Indeed.com, so let's open up that laptop, Jimmy. You are not playing any more video games until you get a real job. Cook. But I told you, this is a job, and it's my dream. Blood, you need to get a job right now your family is in credit card debt and you're chilling on the couch playing call of duty chop chop buddy let's get those bills paid hey but in all reality though let's guess how this plot is gonna develop my prediction is the kid's gonna become an esports champion that makes a million dollars for his family and then the mom's gonna be like oh my god mijo i didn't know i didn't know i'm so proud of you and then darman's gonna swoop in like that's why parents should be more accepting of different and new careers that's what I think is going to happen. I'll put money on it. I'm one of the best players in the league. Just give me a chance and I'll prove it to you. You are not going to get anywhere in life by playing video games. Oh, I should have done this a long time ago. I'm taking your Xbox. No, oh, no, not my Please. Xbox. Please. I have a tournament tonight. I Mom. I don't care. <laughs> I think bro finally realized he has to get a job. Whoa. Those applications aren't going to fill out themselves. Oh, it's dad talk time. Hey, bud. You okay? No. 
I can't believe she took away my Xbox. Bro, you're like 30 years old. Go get a job. All I've ever wanted to be is a gamer. <laughs> what are these lines, bro? Papa, all my life I just wanted to be a gamer. It's like, it's like she doesn't even care. No, <sighs> of course she cares. She just doesn't understand that being a gamer is a real career now. Holy shit, what is the dad saying, bro? The right thing that this kid should do in this situation is to just get a job, bro, because you can game and work a job at the same time. That's what a normal person would do. Especially if your family's in debt. Like, go help out. Anyway, I have something that belongs to you. My Xbox? But why are you giving this back to me? Because I always want you to follow your dreams. Thanks, Dad. You don't know how much this means to me. <laughs> Good luck in your tournament. <laughs> oh, and don't tell your mom I gave that pack to you. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Listen, this is all wholesome and all, and I bet this kid's gonna turn out to be the best gamer in history. Well, let's be real, bro. From a life lesson perspective, if all of us were in this kid's situation, then getting a job would be the most realistic, bro. Like, from what I'm gathering so far, the life lesson in this video is ignore your mom telling you to get a job and keep playing video games. Holy shit. Darman, you do realize if people took that advice, they'd just go homeless, right? Damien sets up his Xbox and gets ready to start the tournament. Lock in, Damien. After an intense battle, he ends up getting first Let's place. Let's go, baby! I called it. I told y'all. Damien is the new top gamer. Grand prize. And then a few days later, his mom happens to come into his room. Oh, shit. Damien, what are you doing? I told you, no more video games until you got a job. Oh, hey, mom. Actually. And how in the world did you even get your Xbox back? That's it. This time I'm getting rid of it for good. We are behind in bills and you need to start helping out around here. Wait, wait. We're not behind on bills anymore. What are you talking about? Just check your credit card statement, please. Zero dollars? <laughs> but we were just $10,000 in debt. Not anymore, Mom. I paid it off. Remember that tournament I told you about? Well, I won. And they paid me $10,000. Uh, maybe my prediction wasn't correct. Only 10000 It wasn't a million? Okay, hey, I mean, good for him, though. I was shooting a little high. So you see, I used it to pay off your credit card debt. So you see... <laughs> what? Oh my god. I can't believe this. And? I just signed a huge contract with an esports team. Bro's going to the big leagues. Wow. So you and dad don't have to worry about bills ever again. Oh my god. Holy shit. I am so sorry that I didn't believe in you, honey. I, I should have been more supportive of your dreams. Will you ever forgive me? Of course. What if he was just like, no, fuck you, mom, I'm out of here. I love you so much, mom. So, does this mean I get to keep my Xbox? On one condition. You teach me how to play that game so I become a gamer too. Oh, mom's about to turn into a sweat. <laughs> so proud of you. So wholesome. Hey, Darman fam, make sure- Hey, Darman fam! Yeah, overall, I get the premise of what he was trying to say in this video, but it's just not realistic. It's not a life lesson. How many people are actually getting into an esports league and becoming a professional, bro? It's like 0.03% of people. If Darman's advice is really to just not get a job and keep playing video games, okay, bro. Real big life lessons we're learning here. We're going homeless with this one. I wanted to show you guys another Darman video I came across. This one, this one's a little wild, right? 12 year old becomes a billionaire. Darn man, 12 year olds do not become billionaires. What the fuck? Who is this life lesson appealing to? Fucking Elon Musk's son or something? Did the Musk family pay Darn man to make this video or something? Like, I'm so confused, bro. These can't be life lessons anymore. These are just like random directionless scripted videos. Inspired by Richie Rich. Nice name. Good morning, Mr. Ritchie. I trust you slept Oh, this must be him. Your breakfast awaits. 
Good morning, Alfred. And I hope it's pancakes. Yeah. Damn, okay, so we're starting off with the bougie-ass plot. Did I say that right? Bougie, right? Bougie, yeah, bougie. This kid's waking up with gold sheets? God. Is this Mr. Beast's little brother or something? Yes. Damn, he's got the whole setup. Okay. Chat, what game is that? I don't even know what he's playing. What the? Oh my god. Bro's getting king treatment. Gucci or Louis Vuitton? I thought he said Gucci. <laughs> Let's go with Gucci, our friend. <laughs> nah, they definitely said that. I like to go to Gucci to shop for clothes. Gucci is my favorite brand. This butler moves kind of like an animatronic. What is this soundtrack, bro? Can you turn it down? Thank you. I'm gonna make sure that the supplies got delivered for the food drive this weekend at the youth center. You stay in the car, okay? Sure. I'll stay by myself in the car. As per usual. Damn. <laughs> Dad, it's not a joke. He wants to spend quality you, time with you. Listen to him. So I'm still trying to figure out if the dad's the billionaire or if the kid's the billionaire. Because the title says the kid's a billionaire. We'll, we'll see. Oh, he's about to ball up. I'll be right out the door. Wait. Wait. Oh, W Butler, or whatever they're called, servant. Chat, what are they called? Servant sounds crazy. Oh no, these kids are not ready for his skills, bruh. Your father wants you. Damn, so I'm guessing this is gonna be like a rich boy wants to be a real boy type plot. Didn't I tell you to wait in the car, Richie? You can't just go off and playing with kids that you don't know. I never get to do anything fun. It's just not safe. My guy, it's a basketball court at an elementary school, not O Block. Chill out, Pops. By the looks of it, it seems like this dad has his son living like a vampire. Realistically speaking, though, <laughs> realistically speaking, wouldn't most dads encourage the opposite if we're being real? Like, my dad introduced me to basketball. Like, most dads in the US are probably like, Go touch grass, son. But it seems like this dad's the opposite. We'll see where Darman goes with this. Maybe the dad will start balling up later on in the episode. We have doubled down on security, especially after the attempted break-in in our offices. Oh, damn. Yeah, I kind of forgot they're billionaires. So, yeah, dad's definitely living like that. He's definitely a target. So I guess the son has to live like a vampire for the rest of his life. Oof. If it weren't for Alfred and his military background, who knows what would have happened? A small price to pay. For the security of yours and Mr. Ritchie's safety, sir. It's ticking! Huh? What do you mean? Oh, shh. Are you okay? What happened? I don't know. We just got a package and it started ticking. It will be all right. I will handle it from here. Go inside and call the police. Just a casual pipe bomb in the mail. This was addressed to you, sir. 
who would do that? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, chat. I'm just gonna skip to the end because I don't even want to watch all this shit. After reviewing the company bylaws, it states very clearly that in the event of Mr. Balin's absence, his son Richie will take over as his successor. Okay, so basically the kid got his billionaire dad's business. Life lessons with Darman. Very relatable, you know, my billionaire dad that I definitely have will eventually pass down his billion dollar business that he also definitely has. You know, I'm really relating to this one a lot, Darman. Maybe this one's relatable to Darman. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know he has a lot of money, so I don't know. But these videos that we watched were definitely a little out of touch. I think we can all admit that unless there's a billionaire kid watching this video. Anyways, like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe and yeah hope you guys have a great rest of your day make sure y'all are staying positive staying healthy and uh yeah let me know what videos you want to see me watch in the future by joining the discord and suggesting videos in there yeah i'll catch y'all peace